All right, traders, it is the 26th of April, 2018. My name is Jameson. Uh, I just got back from Disney, and uh, on the way home, I was flipping through some charts, and uh, I wanted to share some observations here on uh, Devon Energy Corp. Here, this is a two-hour time frame, two-hour uh, vertical bar chart, and we can see that I do have it labeled, so I am kind of referencing the uh, Wyckoff methodology that's present. But uh, technically, we can see that also that's just kind of broadening the space of support. Uh, as it built out, uh, you know, the market participants here in the price by volume of the market profile. Uh, this is using stockcharts.com. Uh, we do have some climactic volume here, and I've labeled it as such. So here's our preliminary support, selling climax, automatic reaction, automatic rally. Um, and this is our secondary test in phase A. There's our stopping action. Volume generally will contract as we... Uh, transition from phase B to phase C, and I think that we do have that. I do like that we have this big effort, no reward, and a higher low here. So this is a lot of selling effort, yet it did not result in a lower low. Uh, that kind of gives a clue uh, that we're seeing some bullish absorption. And then if you just draw a line through this, uh, you know, through this perceived level of support, we can see that it abruptly lost it. Um, and just think mechanically what happens there. So first, let's just look. Prices break down, and you can see that the amount of volume that presented on that breakdown uh, is relatively light compared to the volume that's available here historically, the left side of the chart. So that tells me there's not a lot of supply. So that was just a probe or a downward test. Now mechanically, think what happens. As we lose that level of support, longs get stopped out, shorts chase that into the hole, and that you know that creates a lot of supply uh, for the well-informed. So uh, that stops out longs, they're selling, somebody's buying it, shorts are now selling into the hole, somebody's buying it, and then it quickly reverses. Uh, there's really, you know, this is all kind of subjective, very discretionary. Uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the idea is present within the Wyckoff methodology, uh, but mechanically you just have to be aware that, look, you've lost support and there's just not a lot of volume that presented, uh, therefore there's not a lot of supply. So you can see that selling uh, pressure has contracted and now that it's in the presence of, uh, of strong hands, there's no more overhead supply. And then prices kind of rally through there. I do have this label as a, say, as a secondary test in phase C because of the mechanics of the shakeout. I think this truly is a shakeout and that we do have some contractional volume from phase B to this perceived phase C. Uh, and then additionally, uh, to conclude C, we have this kind of jump across the creek. So prices, uh, you know, they break through several levels of resistance with increased ease of upward movement on expanding volume. And then we kind of capture this 200 cents of moving average. And now we're for forming this kind of bullish pennant formation, which is a continuation pattern uh, with some expanding participants here and positive uh, relative strength growth to the market. So I do like this moving forward. And we do have some asymmetry present here in the market profile. So it's very reasonable to expect that we may trade through here uh, with some perceived increased ease as there's not a lot of resistance or supply overhead here and retest this lost level of support. Uh, so that's into about $41, which correlates to the measured horizontal point and figure count if you're using a one box uh, scale. So we have a price objective officially of $41. We can see, look at the RSI, we also have a bullish breakout too. So I do like that we, uh, uh, we have some good structure here. Uh, it does look like we're transitioning from phase, uh, from accumulation uh, to uh, that of the actual markup. This is phase D, so you mark up inside the range, and as we uh, potentially recapture uh, and uh, trade above this 37, uh, then that would be a markup inside the range and uh, kind of go from there. So what would we do for a trail stop here? Uh, I might stop if we close below the 57 moving average. I might stay long and close if the RSI goes below 50. That might be a, you know an option. Um, otherwise, you know, you're on your own. But we do have some positive relative strength. The structure looks good. This is Devon Energy Corp, DVN. Uh, all right, cheers. Good luck. Hope you found that interesting.